Hey guys, it's Vicky. Just wanted to show you some uh, Etsy um, thing I got and some stuff I bought from Amazon and I uh, dyed some papers, coffee dyed. Uh, it's not the first time my coffee dyed. I just want to show the after effects because I thought some of them were cool. But my Etsy show was from the Snippet Shop uh, on her package she put this cute sticker and then this was in one of the envelopes but I got it to get vintage envelopes to use I just when I saw that I thought it was cute cool you know just the same address you know the cool stamps so I thought well maybe I will uh, you know, use them on some of my master boards or just, you know, in my, my, uh, photo journal, not photo journal, my junk journal itself, which I actually did. I used one of them as a tuck, I think. Tuck, pocket. Here, let me show you. Yeah, see? I thought it was a cool envelope, too. Let me see if you can see. Let me stand up. And then, so I just, my tag. Okay. I'll just put that back. All right. And then I got from Amazon, you know what I should have done before I came down here and Oh, looky what I got -y. I should have opened them up, huh? <laughs> uh, I bought... Uh, it came with, it's a few sizes. I'm going to do Rachel's uh, do-it-yourself uh, faux washi um, journal or challenge. So I bought some uh, double-sided tape to do it with. It's a little late. It was a last week's challenge. It's not like it's gonna, you know, harm me if I do it late. And then I also just wanted to buy some napkins uh, to use in my scrapping or my masterboarding. Um, it's, let's see, yeah, see here, it's better. Uh, I wanted to get it because of the, the Paris Eiffel Tower. I just, I don't know, it, it grabbed me. The slight pink. So I snagged it. I can't always get cool napkins at my store. And then this is uh, decoupage paper. I don't know. I saw it and I just, I just wanted it. Thinking maybe it would be easier to use the butterflies on this than it would be if I printed it on vellum. Because then when I glue it, it gets all wrinkly. And then um, on the, during the weekend, I just spent time dyeing my paper. My husband's like... It smells like liquid smoke, but I'm like, dude, it's coffee. <laughs> so I, I, I dyed uh, one of the, the piece of ribbon I had. I didn't rinse it out after I dyed it. I let it dry. I was worried if I rinsed it out, it would rinse out the, the coffee. So I did that with a couple of strips here. Then this... I, what I did was I took my acrylic square. Unfortunately, it still had stamps on it. You could probably see some of the postage stamps. <laughs> so when I accidentally had put it on that side to get everything ready, I said, ah, oh, I'll just keep it. So I sprayed it. First, I shook my bottle of the coffee. Then I sprayed it because it had some bubbles. And then I stuck it on there forever for at least a good couple hours. Well, it, it didn't really show the bubbles or anything, but I don't know. I think it looks still kind of cool. And these were just other ones that I dyed. At first, I left it in there. Some of them left it in there overnight. Some of them I pulled out after, you know, maybe an hour. And some I just kind of, like, dipped the sides. This was when I left it in there, but it still didn't, like, give me anything. So I sprayed it around the edge. Did that with this one. And... Same with this one. This is tracing paper. I dyed it. I love it. Look at that. You hear that sound? 
and again, uh, some of this was, it was all dyed. I don't have stencils and I don't have the plastic doilies to give me any cool design. So I kind of have to like, you know, hope for a miracle. <laughs> so after it dried, I then sprayed around the edges. Same with this one. Same with this one. But you, this one, you can hardly tell. This one, it came out kind of cool because as I was pulling out, it left like a mark, which helped it to grab some of the coffee. I liked this one. It was, it, it, I liked how the coffee kind of just pulled and it left some of the white. Same with this one. I like how it did that, but I still manipulated it and sprayed around the edges. And this one, oh, I just tore up this poor thing. I did not mean to. And this was the graph paper. Again, I just sprayed around it. Oh, this one's my favorite. It's the doily. And look, it just pulled the coffee. See, that's what I meant, like, you know, hoping for the best. And this wasn't so bad either. And this is just, you know, book pages I did. And then some more of the ones that I think I left on overnight. This one, you know, I like this one. It kind of, like, get, left me a little pattern. I think I've got one stuck to it. Yep. Another graph one. Oh, and this one I like, too. I just like how sometimes just leaving it in there and just left this cool pattern. Another one. It was off on the edge like this and I just left it. More paper or book page ones that I did. Oh, this one was cool too. I pulled it out so you can see on the edges here where as I'm pulling it, it's kind of like bending as I'm pulling it out. So it left little ridges, so the coffee and stuff stayed. <sighs> Sometimes happy accidents are cool. And then what I was trying to do is, ah, I'm going to do cardstock. So this was yellow cardstock. And I, you know, it was on top or on bottom, whatever, of the pink cardstock. I don't know, I was trying something. It's okay. I'll probably still use it. It now has like a construction paper kind of feel to it. This one's kind of cool, but <laughs> it turned my yellow slightly pink in places, like a dull pink, a brownish pink. Here, try this one too. This one didn't really change much. It's a little vintage-y, but... And then as I was pulling the papers across to put them on their paper towels, sometimes you get drippings. And I purposely would leave the drippings. See, that's a dripping, dripping. Oh, I love this one. These were where, what I did was, I just did the edges. I would dip the edges in the tie, in the dye. And so it would, you know, drip down. So that was kind of cool. Same with this one. And this, these are more of the ones where I just dipped at the sides so that it would leave the middle kind of semi-empty you know naked here's another one where I did that but then I also benefit from drippings uh, this one I don't yes I did this was also a one where I dipped in the middle but I think it may have been my first one so it just like was a mess but it was a cool mess and then some um, index cards I did, you know, the middle technique, kind of like left nice little patterns. Some of them are drip patterns. I just took advantage of the drip patterns because I knew I would get something different. Um, just other ones I probably pulled out before it totally died. So it left some type of print. And... I also had problems. I didn't have a problem with the tracing paper pulling it out, but I sure had a problem with the regular paper. I used typing paper. And, you know, I just had a problem gripping those suckers. 
This is the graph paper. I think. Yeah. And again, I had problems with that too. Not with the tracing paper. Here's an, another one. I just had it in there. And uh, after the hour, I pulled it out. And I loved it because it wasn't totally all the way in there. Same with this one. This side was up. So it leaves this cool pattern on the side. And then my last one. Well, that, it was fun. It, it was fun dyeing them, uh, pulling them out, seeing what they would look like as they were drying. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good week. Bye-bye.